currently sitting in the parking lot outside of this abandoned warehouse to meet a man who possesses a forbidden knowledge, how to solve a Rubik's Cube. In 1973, what has become known as the unsolving took place on the outskirts of London, England. There, Matthew Rubik's, the founder of the Society of the Cube, gathered with over 1,000 of his committed followers. Together, they all solved their cube simultaneously. Shortly thereafter, there were power outages across the world, data leaks, major stock market crashes, and international instability. Following a mass arrest of the solvers, the UK government outlawed the possession of any Rubik's Cubes in any attempt to solve one. But after more than 50 years, legend has it, the Society of the Cube lives on in small pockets across the world. Today, I, an outsider, going to see what it takes to solve the cube. I'm here to meet a Leland to teach me how to solve the cube. So much for subtlety, you're walking around big empty parking lots with a camera, asking people how to solve a cube. Well, it's you then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Let's get out of here before we get too many looks you lose. Watch your step. Members of the Society of the Cube are known for being paranoid. Understandably, with the cases and the sentences they're given simply for trying to solve the cube. Got any cubes on you? No, I was assuming that you'd be able to provide one. Yeah, you can take your pick. I've never seen so many different kinds of cubes. Well. Once you've unlocked your first solve and you understand how the cube works, you can start branching off into more advanced things. Mirror cubes, ghost cubes, yeah. Well, I'd assume that a beginner would start with the original. Yeah, yeah, the beginners always learn on the standard three by three. So, can you show me how to do one? Well, it might depend how the cube reacts to this guy with the camera. <coughs> how the camera reacts to the cube. I've heard a lot of stories of broken sensors and lenses. Only one way to find out. Right, well, to begin, you have to form the white cross. Form the white cross. Yeah, yeah. Once you have the white cross, next you have to bring in the corners to meet the edge pieces, making sure to match their shared colors. These steps, are they steps that you learned yourself? No, 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 no. The first one to understand how to solve the cube was, was Rubik founder and then from there uh, other solvers pass that knowledge down once they figured it out. Once you've learned for yourself and you understand how the cube works, you know how to wield its power. This power, what is it used for? You imbecile! You've awoken the spirit of the cube! You mustn't try to understand the power of the cube before understanding how to solve it. What comes after the corners? Corners complete the first layer. Next is to solve the second of the three layers. No. Benny, no. Benny. No, we've gotten too close. Benny, wrap it up. No, we've anchored it. We've anchored it.